Welcome back to Angling360 YouTube channel and welcome back to Loch Lomond but we aren't in our usual spots we're again trying a spot we've never fished before and as you could probably hear it is pretty close to a road so excuse the noise of the folk going to work but we've got a day off work it's renowned for the odd big fish not plenty fish which I only found out when we got here which was a bit of a bummer but we've got five rods out, various baits from roach, we've got mackerel, we've got smelt, I think we've got another couple of bits and bobs, but there's a new freezer coming in Monday, so I had to empty it. So we've got a vast array of baits to, to get through the day. But our fingers are crossed, our toes are crossed, but it's a pleasant day, there's no rain forecast. Not very windy, so we might get a drone up, try and get some confidence back in flying the drone. But just whilst it's quiet, whilst it's nice, thanks again for all the support, kind comments, a like and subscribe, hitting the bell in person. It's been brilliant, feedback's been good, so thanks. So just need to hope for a fish or two. Alex is here today, he's holding that camera really steady. <laughs> um, but no doubt there'll be some snoozing. So I've got a nice lunch prepared today. So. Everything's set. All we need now is that or oh, fire thing to turn up. Alex, how's it going today? Not very good. If you've watched our recent videos, uh, it'll become quite apparent that we fish Loch Lomond quite frequently. Uh, we do enjoy the place, we love it, it's a local water so it makes complete sense. But not only that, it offers pretty much everything a course angler, a, a, a game angler, a predator angler could, could ask for. Pike fishing's good, apparently, but we'll, we'll see how today goes. <laughs> the, the, the perch fishing through the summer can be fantastic, the silver's fishing all year round, great. There's salmon, there's sea trout, there's there's ferox, so the, the game anglers well catered for as well. But it is it's a lock of contrasts as well. You basically got two locks in one. The lower section, the sort of south section of the lock, is your stereotypical lowland lowland lock. Average depth's about what, 30 to, to 90 feet. And then you cross the Highland Boundary Fault, which is a line that runs diagonally across Scotland. Uh, from northeast to southwest, and it cuts right through the middle of Loch Lomond. Once you pass that, once you go north of that, it becomes a completely different loch, a completely different water. Depths plummet down to 600 feet. Uh, the topography changes completely. I mean, if you look around here, the, the steep-sided cliffs, that continues under the water. You know, that comes down and it just carries on for, for hundreds and hundreds of feet. And it gives the variety that this place is renowned for. It really is. It's a, it's a fantastic place. Great to have it on our doorstep. We are, we're pretty lucky in that. But we just, we just need that fish <laughs> to back that theory up. I'm sure it'll come.
Ross says catching fish is a bonus. It's full of nonsense. Well, we came with a plan. We always come with a plan. And if our plan was to go in that direction, today is legging it in that direction. <laughs> That's how it's going. It's got to plan, did it? Nothing's went to plan. Absolutely nothing's went to plan. Another tough day. Aye. But Con confidence is even lower with the drone. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly put it into a tree. <laughs> oh, Jesus, uh, man. Nothing's went right today at all. But we can never have too many plans. So we have another plan. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> no one can ever have too many plans. <laughs> Where have we gone So, now? hang about. Don't go anywhere. And we'll see you in about 20 seconds, 20 miles that way. Hopefully with some merfish. Hopefully. Oh, no merfish, don't I get any? <laughs> We're on board MV Argyle, part of the Caledonian McBray fleet. That right, aye? Yeah. There you go, first take. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? We're off to Loch Fad on, uh, on the Rothschild. Been a few times before. No. Couple of decent fish the first time we went together, and then the last two trips were. A couple of really good sessions and a couple of horrible sessions, so aye. this could go. One of one of two ways. But I, Hopefully, I'm confident today. I've, I've got a wee, <laughs> got a good selection of baits. It's, it's looking, it's looking good. The weather's looking atrocious, uh, but it's mild. It's dry at the minute. It's not going to stay dry. It's going to get wet and windy, but we're going to stick it out. Let's see if we can get that <laughs> that big big pipe that we've been looking for. We'll get some new traces as well, for Robert. To try out. We're giving them a bash. Uh, do do traces. Um, Robert's been very kind to you, so we'll stick a link in the description Aye. for his traces. If you fancy giving them a bash yourself, highly recommend them. Nah, there's, there's, there's no better trace out there, I don't think. It's, it's the only downside is it takes about six hours for me to put the hooks on. <laughs> <laughs> the splatterings are murder. Go there, mate. Anyway. We'll see you. My hoist frozen, so we'll see you in the loch. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, forget there. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> see you later. Well, I've needed a chance to get all my rods out, and Alex looks like he's got a run. That wasn't the wind, was it? There's not much wind for it to be the wind, but there doesn't seem to be anything there. Bit of a funny one there. One beep. Drop off. Dropped off. But drop off the right way. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> <I will. laughs> nah, not sure that was a fish, but if I had any incline that it was a fish, I'd have hit it, but nah, don't know what that was. Might be something there. There might be. I'm going to hit it just in case. Yep. Wonder if that's trout again. 
Is that Alex going to get plagued by trout? That's a trout bait though, so that would be on you. Oh, is that the trout? Back out it goes. Oh, so you're one of the anglers that sets up first and then turns the alarm on. Yes. Yes, yep. you're not, well, not one of these ones that turns the alarm on and then goes... Drags the line through aye. for 10 minutes at a time. No, aye. not different. That's, that's good to see. <laughs> that's good to see. We made it in one piece. And here it is, Loch Fad. A, a trout water. It is a trout water, but it's not your sort of stereotypical trout water. It's about six miles long, I think. Uh, not overly deep, I think the deepest point in here is about 37 feet according to the, the depth charts back at the, the, the fishing hut. But we're here and we've got rods out, nice new baits, fresh baits, nice traces. Not fishing in deep water, it's about 4 feet deep, but it's mild. It's been mild for, for about a week now. The weather's expected to turn later, it's going to get pretty wild, we're told. But it's a south, southwesterly wind, so we're still holding out a little bit of, a little bit of hope, a little bit of confidence that something will happen today. Loch Fad's one of these lochs, similar to Loch Oh, we are. Don't we've, say that. <laughs> where we've had some really bad days and some really, really good days. It's a bit finicky, but that's pike fishing. But yeah, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. So if you've been following Essox Diaries, you'll know that the majority, well, more the majority, all of our Essox fishing is done on lochs. Um, we've been to Loch Lomond, uh, the Lake of Monteith, Loch Aw, and today um, we're on Loch Fad. Um, it's not going too well at the moment, uh, no doubt anything happening. Um, one thing I will say is the community of YouTube has reached out. Uh, from time to time, um, none more so than a, a gentleman called Sean from down south. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel, he's doing well just now. Uh, it's called Lured by Essox. Now, I believe Sean, he covers a lot of river pike fishing, so if that's something um, you fancy, then I'll put a, a link to his channel in the, in the description and uh, go check him out and see what you think of him and his channel. He's got some nice fish. He's dead better than life to be fair. <laughs> um, but we're still determined we're going to get that that Lafay how, how do I say it again? Leviathan. Leviathan. That big pike. Um, I think the best time that we're looking forward to is probably March or it? February, March. February, March time. Um, but the, the, the chance of getting like the rivers recently since uh, Christmas has been pretty pretty grim with it. A lot of rain, a lot of snow, river levels too high, water's too dirty. Even on Loch Lomond the other day, it 
it was not the greatest conditions. So we've been struggling. Normally January is quite a kind month to us. I was looking back at some of the, the archives the other night and I've done quite well in January. But not this year. It's the whole, whole part. It's only the 5th of January. <laughs> I've had a few trips but, but you know that way you just... The bad luck can keep, keep going on. So hopefully, hopefully today things will take a, a turn for the better. Fingers crossed as always. Well, I've been told not. How many takes is this? But it'll be the same trout again, I think. See. No, no, I don't know. I bet that was running away over it, I reckon that's a trout. Could be a trout fishery. It'd be daft not to try one of these, won't it? However, because it's what, 20 past one, and we've been here since what, 8 o'clock. I think the break out of secret juice. 
Oh, that's what you don't want to do. Stab yourself. Easier said than done when it's still frozen. Still. <laughs> Up the jack seat. Yep, that's not happening either. Try to get under the skin there. There we go. There's a roll, there's a way. See if I'll get the last wee bit down the gub. So you reckon that's the trick then? I'll tell you in about an hour if it screams off. You'll be the first to know. They're slimy these weeds out, aren't they? There we go. Nice new shiny hooks. Size sixes on a, I think it's a 41 pound voodoo trace. Let's get it out. Trout number 13 It'll be a trout. <laughs> it's a trout, isn't it? Till that is up. I thought that was a trout at first, it was similar runs to every other one we've had today. But <laughs> this isn't the best looking type I've ever caught. Turn, turn it round, turn it round. Another side. It's lip syncing off. <laughs> it's a zombie pike. It is, isn't it? It's got damage to its eye here as well. Yep.
just asked me if I buy good day this again tomorrow. Clown <sighs> for punishment. What are you saying? I'm just saying to the good folks of the YouTube. See that tube's just asked me. <laughs> I want to go and do this again tomorrow. Of course we do. I'm struggling, man. Then you want to shoot you? No, <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing. <laughs> oh, it's been wild this afternoon. Nah, there's not even much to talk about. The only thing that's maybe worth pointing out is we've had six runs today, and every one of them, apart from apart from one. Uh, have been trout but that fish that Gordon did catch it just shows the importance of striking at them anyway Aye. you know we've picked it up on five occasions and there's been absolutely nothing there you don't feel anything you did the exactly the same I did anything and it was there then I just uh, felt the heat knock and there was so yeah even if you don't think there's anything just, just, just hit it anyway you can always rechuck it thank uh, god you for asking me get the weather eh but aye, that's, probably, that's pretty much the only thing we can take from today. That pike that you got reflects the weather conditions absolutely was perfectly. Ugly it was man. minging. <laughs> it had a blind in one eye, fins missing. Aye. It's not nice to see, but it happens, I suppose. It's really easy to jump to the conclusion that it's been badly handled by an angler, but it might not be. You know, it just could be. It could be natural causes. It could be a disease of some sort, but. It's just, it's still, it's not nice to see. But a fish, it's a fish. <laughs> it's more than I've done. But yeah. Uh, you still right there's a fish in it, don't you? Th there could be. Yep. I'm not feeling that at all. Stick it out into the last minute, as always. Man, that's me grailing, but that always comes again. <laughs> <laughs> Shit to happen with the pike. The pike, this year, it's been terrible. It's been really, really bad. We've not been out massive amounts, but... Remember a couple of years ago, we went out to the pike quite regular, and we at least got one each. Aye. Every time we'll okay, they weren't a huge pike, but <sighs> that's just been brutal. But determination, persistence, and it will pay off. It will eventually. It might be tonight. It might be next week. It might be next month. But it will happen. Right, my arm's getting sore. Hopefully see you again with our fish. Aye. Back on this ferry, it's a wee bit sweet. <laughs> but it turned out the secret, secret sauce ah. work. <laughs> yeah, nicely. Ah, <laughs> um, it's a secret. It's not a secret anymore. You've just filmed it. Ah, but didn't film what it was, but didn't I? Uh, no. Or you didn't film what <laughs> it was. Ah, so one zombie pike and a few runs off to out there. So I think we're going to go somewhere tomorrow. Definitely going somewhere tomorrow. We can't give up on that, no chance. That was terrible. That was pretty bad. Redemption. I don't know where we're going to go though, but we'll, we'll go somewhere. What's our options? Limited with the weather. Uh, Bloody the weather, ice, man. I know. Uh, it's going to be windy again tomorrow morning. Easing off a little uh, as the day goes on. So we we'll maybe try somewhere different, try somewhere new. Fenneker. Oh, maybe. Nah, uh, I don't fancy all. I fancy all. Do you? Uh, aye. Yeah. Uh, I thought you went to Benneker. I keep swaying between the two. Uh, <laughs> I would have bought. <laughs> <laughs> but. Right, well, whatever we end up, we'll, yeah. we'll be bringing the cameras anyway, yeah, so. We'll see you there. We'll see you there, aye. Right. right, all the best. Just did walk fad the other day. And we were going to come out the day after. But the wind and the weather, the rain, the weather, I wasn't having it. But today, we're starting off a bit of rain, but it's to clear up. And we're at a, a new water for me. I've never fished here before. Loch Veneca. Used to be an old guy in my work. I know Benny watches. He's retired now. 
old John Morton, he used to bang on about this place. That's where the big ins are at, that's where the big ins are at. For about the past, well, the poor, poor sods did now, but he used to be there when I worked with him. He used to go on about it, I don't know, about 12 years I heard him go on about this place. But I've never actually fished it, so hopefully, if you're up there, John, look down on us, geezer. Just one big fish. Because Alex has already got his doing as a blank today, so confidence is at a fucking low. Pardon the, pardon the French. But I'm going to go with a wee, a wee red sardine. Another rod's got a, a mackerel head on it. Once some of these baits thaw out, we'll be injecting the secret juice, which seems to be doing the damage. Aye. So, here we go. So other than Big John for the work, God rest his soul, fall in my head for a big pike and dream fish for this place. Tell us what it's actually like, Alex. I have never caught a fish from Loch Verica. Which you kept quiet up until about five minutes ago. I've told you, I've told you before, you just don't listen. I've, I've only fished a handful of times, mind you, and it was years, years and years ago. Talking 15 years ago, possibly. And and at the minute, to be fair, our confidence, like Gordon says, is pretty low. And it's not helped much by coming down here to the, the area that I used to fish, the renowned area, to find out that access has now been banned. So that's a bit of a... It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a <laughs> excuse the language. But yeah, that's it's pretty much just adding to, to how we're feeling at the minute. The fishing is all about ups and downs, and this is, with the, the terms of pike fishing, this is quite a low down at the minute. We've used our luck up with the grayling. The grayling's been fantastic and I can't wait to get back on it to get away from these dead baits. But all it takes is one fish. I keep telling myself that. All it takes is one fish. Confidence is low. Motivation is low. But hey, that's fishing. So what's Loch Venneker famous for? In terms of famous angling? For? Is it just purely a pike water or...? Well, it's, it's, I think it's a trout water, first and foremost, through the summer. You rent boats, you go out fly fishing, spinning, bait fishing for trout. But it's it's had, it's been renowned for, for good pike fishing in the past. When I fished it 15, 10, 15 years ago, it did have a reputation for producing big fish. See, that's all I've ever heard about Yeah. It. It, if you want a big pike, then it kills the spot. But over the last 10 years, it's, it's I've heard nothing. It's went really quiet. There's not much information out there. Did Paul Young know to a... An episode uh, I, I here we are we a young guy. I think I think he did. Oh, dead baiting, didn't he? I'm pretty sure that's my only kind of. I don't know. I don't remember him. Knowledge of. Here. I don't remember him dead baiting. Uh, but it did. Have, it did have a reputation. It has produced massive fish in the past. But <laughs> who knows? I mean, it's, it's it's pretty much an unknown just now because 15 years is a long time. A lot can change in 15 years. Uh, that's part of it. Trossocks. It's the dry, it's, it's one of the Trossocks locks. But the fact that we've come down in the, the part that we've been aiming to fish is inaccessible. We've squeezed in as close to it as we possibly can, but it's shallow, it's really shallow. <laughs> uh, three, four feet maximum, I would think. And it's still, it's January, it's early January. All right, yeah, it's been mild lately, but we'd really be looking to fish in about 15 feet of water, ideally. But what can we do? We're here, so we'll give it a go. As always. One day I'm going to do this pan and run shot and one of the rods will go. Alex thought he had a wee beat belt.
Fish on. Fish on. Finally. What was that on? Take that way, so we need to watch that pen. Aye, there's also a big drop there. <laughs> Up in the water there, yeah. see it? Feel alright? Feel alright when I hit it, but... Quite always day back, didn't it? It's going in like a sack of spuds, isn't it? It's not bad, I don't think. Well, oh, at least the blank's off. <laughs> it's the first fish I've had in like four sessions. <laughs> hey, hold on, back team up here. Well, it's not going to break any PBs, <laughs> but we've only been here about an hour. We have the first. Hopefully of many. <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up. And this is my first, believe it or not, first Veneker pike. But it's been hard. I said this is my first fish in about four dead baiting sessions, so I'm definitely not going to complain about it. We're getting back. Very green fish. Yeah. Woman fish are taking on a sort of goldy colour, but these ones are quite green. Well, yeah, five, six pound off to start with. Yeah, bastard, you shut myself up. Winter bike fishing <laughs> in January. So yeah. Loch Lomond, Loch Fad, and Loch Veneker. The how latest. Many, how many fish? Two. <laughs> how many hours? Eight hours each time. Aye. A lot of hours, a lot of effort, not a lot to show for it. But yeah, depth of winter bike fishing, the way it goes. It's just shown. I mean, it's not even just been the last. Three sessions. It's been since October since we, we, we first got out. First couple of sessions were on Lomond, new areas in Lomond, picked up the odd couple odd of fish, fish yeah. here and there. Uh, Best but, days been Monteith. Oh, Monteith was mental. But even then, the, the average stamp of fish were pretty small. It was it was mainly jacks, 
couple of decent ones for Gordon, but <laughs> but it's, it's just it's just been it's been demoralisingly hard. Uh, I hope everyone else is finding it just as hard as we are. <laughs> uh, but there's there's what it is. So yeah, that blank on Lomond up the top end of Lomond it is the first total blank that we've had uh, where none of us have got anything. Uh, the time before that on Loch Awe, I got a micro pike, but it wasn't a blank. Fad the other day, got a bit of a zombie pike. Not the nicest right. to look at, but honestly, the ugliest. I feel kind of sorry for that. I feel bit. sorry for it, anyway. <laughs> but not a blank. And then a small fish today saved the blank, or looks like it's saving the blank today as well. But we'll fish it out today. But if the rest of the sessions have told us anything, <laughs> we're not holding out much hope. The one thing I've showed you is we're not a fish. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's, it's not that. I mean, if you look on most social media, this is the kind of thing that you don't see. Whether it be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, it's the hard blanks that are kind of tucked away and forgotten about. We're not going to do that. <laughs> Never going to get drunk. We're, go, we're going to show it. How just, it get is. Other, just get other than dried out. Yeah. But, yeah. Hard going. Say, sorry to interrupt you there, but I... As you say, it's showing the true side of it. It's fishing. It's all about ups and downs. It can be big fish all the time. Uh, and part and parcel of it is blanks. Or tough days like this. But I'm just hoping and praying that the rivers get themselves <laughs> into good nick. And we get out for the grayling. Maybe a bit of feeder fishing for some roach and bream. Because I don't know if I can stand this for too much longer. I know. See, I've, I've, I've lost a little weight. I can't even. Just a wee break from it and then we'll, we'll be back. But yeah. Looking forward to the spring. Aye, definitely. <laughs> Tench. As much as I love winter, it uh, it drains you, it does it drain you a little bit. But still nowhere else I'd rather be than standing in the pissing rain, fishless. Don't know about that. <laughs> Nice big hot bubble bath and a nice big whiskey or something would be nice. Ah, oh, it went. Anyway, right, we'll see you in the next one. We might see you. We might. I doubt it, but we might see you. Before we leave, oh, I forget. Yeah.